Welcome back. It's a Saturday, the 1st of August, and I've become tired. The two-day training camp begins today. Daytime. Wait a minute. I recognize this music. You boarded the train with your fellow athletes and arrived at the high school where the fellowship will be held. Uh-huh, I recognize the gates as well. Yeah, so in of a high school. Yeah, this seems to be the place. A joint practice with the students at- I've got a massive smile on my face right now, by the way. It, the instant the music started, I was like, wait. A joint practice with the students at this school is scheduled for today and tomorrow. What a rustic school. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's no convenience stores nearby and no clubs either. Oh, there's clubs. There's clubs. I want all of you to be on your best behavior, okay? It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure for us, too. Let's start off with basic drills. Might as well try out. Try out. Try going all the way to the mountains for our runs. Our region's pretty flat, so this will be good practice. Are we supposed to, like, bond in a fellowship? That was the word, fellowship. I was looking for that word in the last part. Why is she bringing up stuff like basic drills? Who's the liar who said that this would be a paradise with hot springs? Oh, there's hot springs! Afterwards, let's do a couple sets of music. Music training? Where am I getting these words from? Muscle training. And then a match. Why would you do music training for volleyball? I don't know. How about the losing side cleans up afterwards? Oh, Yuko, what are you doing here? I've got my reasons. Anyways, wouldn't you guys take the challenge more seriously if there was something at stake? That's true. It's not like you guys usually care about winning anyway, so why not? Are you saying that's how our team is? Well, maybe you're right. All right. And not only will the losing school have to clean up, let's add 10 win sprints to the bet. It's up to 10? We can't lose. As a result of the match. Phew. We finally finished cleaning up. In number one? Okay, time for the sprints then. Me too. Of course, this was your idea. Yes, ma'am. The fellowship ended without any problems. It seems an inn... Oh, here we go. It seems an inn has been prepared for your stay. Did you hear? They have a natural hot spring there. Yeah, yeah, I may have heard about that. Want to wash each other's backs later? If that's like it, like, yay, let's do that! Because why would that be fun? I will say, sounds like fun. This is so fun. Last year's fellowship wasn't too far from our school. This place is so laid back. I love it. I do have a fondness for this place. That shopping district seems pretty lively, though. What a peaceful town. It'd be nice to live here. At that moment, a girl noticed you and came over. Who is it? That's Yukiko. That's definitely Yukiko. Are you the club members from Gekukan High School? The Amagi Inn sent me to get you. Yeah. Huh? Oh, th thank you very much. Um, you don't work there, do you? No, I'm just helping out. I'm Yukiko Amagi, the daughter of the hostess at the Amagi Inn. The hostess daughter? So does that make you a junior hostess? Cool. Oh, are you in high school? No, I'm still in middle school. You're in middle school and you're already helping with the family business? Man, talk about responsibilities. So are you going to inherit the business? That, I don't know yet. Hey, don't stick your nose in other people's business. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. People are always telling me I'm nosy. Oh, that's all right. It's fun chatting with people from outside town. Ah, Yuki-chan. Did you take the car keys? Oh, Kazai-san? Car keys? Why would I... Huh? What's this? Yukiko pulled something from her pocket. Seems to be the car keys. Why would she take the car keys? I I'm sorry, I must have mistaken them for my house keys. No worries. Well, I'm heading out to get some groceries. Oh, do you want me to go and sit? No, no, that's fine. No need to send you on that kind of errand, Yukichan. 
Plus, uh, they'd be too heavy for you. By the way, Chie Chan stopped by. I wonder if we'll get to see Chie. It would be cool. She said she needed help with her homework. Oh, okay. Oh, are well, you all guests? Forgive me for rambling on like that. I'm a waitress at the Mug Inn. I hope you enjoy your stay tonight. The waitress left. I'm sorry about the wait. Shall we go? This way, please. Evening. Ah, oh, the music. It's, it's just so awesome to hear this music. Do, 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 do. A room at the Margi Inn. This seems to be this town's finest, long established inn. Do, 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 do. So huge, so luxurious. Is it really okay for people like us to stay here? Won't we get a scolding? From who? Hmm, uh, um, the government? Why would the, what, why would the government do that? What are you talking about? And hey, this isn't your room, Yuko. Yeah, about that, you gotta hear this. There was some mistake and I got stuck in the same room as Kaz. Kaz? You mean Kazushi? Wait, he's here too? Huh? Wasn't Kazushi supposed to take part in the tournament? I was supposed to stay behind to sort of look after him. He's injured, so we're trying a hot springs cure. I'm gonna get the most out of this trip by clearing up my skin too. Huh? Wait, did you say you were in the same room? Kazushi is a guy, right? He's a big old girl on the inside, but on the outside, yeah, he's a guy. Miss Canoes assigned the rooms, right? What the hell was she thinking? I'm gonna say, just stay in our room. Yeah, just stay in our room. I know you for offering. If I couldn't couldn't sleep here, I would have had to sleep out in the hall. Uh, I mean, I would have kicked Kaz out into the hall, of of course. By the way, Kazushi's injured. Is he okay? No, it's pretty bad. That's why we're relying on the hot springs cure. Uh, and that idiot didn't say anything about it for the longest time. Thanks to that, it's gotten even worse. He's such an idiot, a total dumbass. He got me so worried. Sounds like you two are perfect for each other. What? You gotta be j- Wait, what time is it? Oops, it's time for Kaz's medication. Well, see you later. That's a point. What happens when it gets to the dark hour? Here, because we're on our own, right? Ooh, I wonder if it even comes up. She can say whatever she wants, but she's taking pretty good care of him. She's kind of like a mom. Though I know she'd hate it if I told her so. After taking a bath with everyone, you lazily talked about random things on the futon. Hey, isn't there something more appropriate to talk about at times like these? Um, what, like boyfriends? Yep, exactly. Well, I'd be confessing my love if there was anyone I really liked. I prefer a thin guy, but he'd have to be athletic. And there's no one at our school who fits that description. Um... What about Kazushi? Exactly! No way! All the dots. Uh, but I do have this feeling. This is just an if, okay? If Kaz and me don't end up finding someone for a long time, I get this feeling I might end up getting married to him. I, I, what should I do? What kind of premonition is that? I mean, he's completely useless without me. There's no way he'll even remember where he keeps his underwear. Okay, that's really bad. Imagine him getting old all alone and eating nasty convenience store food every day. It's just so sad. That's quite an... Oh, we'll go with, no. So marry him. No, I've got to fight it. So what about you, Yuki-san? You got someone you like, right? Um, it's a secret. Ah, oh, come on, don't beat around the bush. And again, we haven't named any names either. Alright. When we open up to you, you have to tell us too. You two seem like you're having fun. I really don't get that sort of thing. I don't want to think any more about a future with Kaz. How about we tell some ghost stories? Hmm, that's fine with me. But I don't scare easily. I do know a lot of stories, though. Let's hear them. Although, 
the way you say that is already giving me goosebumps. One sec. Yuko left the room. What do you want? I was gonna go to sleep. Just shut up. Hey guys, I brought him. Yuko dragged your classmate, Kazushi, into the room. Hey, this is a girl's room. I'm not allowed to be in here. It's okay, just stay here, alright? Okay, Ryo, do your worst. Is he your good luck charm? No, I just wanted him to be here. Hmm hmm. We go with a future with Kaz, eh? No, I never said that. You're supposed to tell scary stories with four people. That's the rules. Come on, hurry up and let's go in order. Alright, I'll go first. Stories about the tunnel we passed through today. Eek! Blackout! Why does this always happen in this inn? Did it happen in this inn? I know it happened on the ski trip in Persona 4. Golden. Ah, don't choke me! Get off! Just stepping on my foot too! Phew, the lights are back. Where's the phone? You go started calling somewhere. Hello? Front desk? I'm about the blackout just now. There. Was no blackout? All oh, the dots. Oh. Thanks. What are we gonna do? That was a real supernatural phenomena. Lights always turn on and off though. Are you an idiot? The fact they went out without anyone touching them means... Let's just stop talking about it. I'm pretending it never happened. All the dots. The remote for the lights is on the ground near your feet. You may have been the one who turned the lights off. That is awesome. I like that because that is the type of thing I would have done. Just like, just, just turn the lights off. Ooh, scary. All the dots. You decided to keep quiet about this. I like that. It's like, Yuki's great. Yuki's great. A noisy but fun night passes. I'm still tired. After a light joint practice at Yasuo Inaba High School, the time to part has come. Oh no! Oh, well, thanks a bunch for all your help. Remember what we learned here, and keep trying our hardest. Thank you very much! Have a safe trip back! Guess we should go back to... Hey, you okay? Yeah, I, I just didn't get any sleep. I saw people's faces in the walls. They're just exaggerating. Want me to give you a piggyback ride if you're not feeling well? You moron, your legs hurt. What are you talking about? Or I'll give you a piggyback ride. Haha, <laughs> seeing you exaggerating again. Please come again. Oh, we will, we will. Oh, thanks for taking the time to come see us off. She said she saw people's faces showing up in the inn's walls. Ack, you idiot! Oh, you saw them too? There's always a few at old inns, so there's no need to worry. Always a few. <laughs> I'm just joking. You made a joke? It's not very Yukiko-like at all, is it? No, no, she's very stoic. She never laughs. Yukiko is not known for her laughter, I think you'll find. Yeah, that was definitely not a joke. Come on, let's go home. Do we have to? I want to stay here for a bit. Come on. Well then, I must part here. Please have a safe trip back. Yukiko left. Don't tell me, she's not a ghost herself, is she? She could be. I mean, she was really cute. Maybe she was one. Really cute girls are ghosts? That's all the proof I need to know you're human. What? Say that again to my face. Hey, stop trying to step on my foot. Well, that reminds me. I got a call about the tournament a moment ago. They told me that Nimura at San Hai was a no-show. Not only that, they couldn't find him at his house either. Ooh. Why? Does that mean he's missing? Did he run away from home? Maybe he was freaked out by the competition. Oh wait, is it because of that apathy, apathy syndrome thing? No idea. Hopefully he shows up soon. He was a great guy. Yeah. Anyways, let's go home. Come on, let's do our clap. Clap. And put this to bed. Clap. Why are you the one leading the clap? Okay, what? Clap? What? And so the joint practice trip came to an end. Oh no! Welcome back. I wanted to see more of Inaba, that would have been awesome. 
welcome back. Yeah, yeah. Yo, how'd training camp go? Were there any cute girls at their school? There was one beautiful girl. Seriously? Man, I should have gone with you guys. Is that all you ever think about? I mean, the moon's almost full. Shouldn't be joking around like that. Yeah, next Thursday. The 6th. Make sure you're ready. Oh, I'm ready now. Ooh, got to turn those back on. Right, so let's go see... Town map. Do, 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 do. That was awesome, though. Going to Inner Bar. It, I, I wonder if that's how I would have felt if I went here in Persona 4 after I played this. Like, the opposite way round. For me. Because I would have probably been like, Yay, we're going here! I can't remember the name of the place. Iwatodai, isn't it? Iwatodai. Alright, what we got here? Hmm... Don't like any of those, so we'll leave them. And... Yeah, we'll, we'll go for the cafe. Alright, you feel people looking at you. Is this an effect of the tea? The charm has increased. It's getting late. Decide to go back to the dorm. The third, a Monday. Oh, I'm not tired anymore. Great. Oh, we can't go to school anyway and get to see the nurse, can we? So it doesn't matter. It's fine, it's fine. Summer vacation continues. Your cell phone rang. Good morning, this is Elizabeth. I'm calling to inform you that another human has strayed into Tartarus. Oh, come on, I just went to Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please don't delay in carrying out your rescue. Goodbye now. The call ended. Your phone is ringing. Again. Hey, it's Yukari. Do you have a minute? Sure. Hey, want to do something today? Pixie! What should you do? Accept the offer. I'm glad to hear that. Let's meet up outside the dorm. Yukari seems excited. The Mall Power Records. You are having a good time hanging out with Yukari. I know I should resist the temptation, but let's see what's new. If I'm looking, maybe the one I want will be delayed. I'm already over budget for this month. I know that feeling. Yukari seems to be enjoying her day off. Hey, I don't know if I should ask you this, but... Yukari seems nervous. Are you a saver, Yuki? I'm trying, but... Well, I'm not surprised. How's a high schooler supposed to know the right way to save up? I'm trying to save up too, but it's not going so well. Yukari is sighing. Today you learned something new about her. You recall that you have something you can give as a present. Let's give her a present. What kind of present should you give? Handmade. Sweet. We'll give her a sugar cookie. Don't tell me. You made this? Hey, can I try it? All the dots? Yep, this is delicious. Thank you so much. Yukari seems to really like the present. It's getting late. We decide to go back to the dorm. Evening. Hi, how was your day? That's good. It's very good. I liked it. We had some cookies. The ones we made earlier. This Thursday, the 6th, there will be a full moon. I'm sure a shadow will appear as well. Please be ready. Oh, we will. We will. Because we need to go back to Tartarus to get those ones that were missing at some point. Because I did get informed that if I don't do that, they disappear or whatever happens to them. Once the full, full moon? The full moon? Yep, the full moon happens. Alright, so what we got here? Print club? We'll go with print club. Your photo came out fantastically. You tried out different poses and graphics. Your charm has greatly increased. It's getting late. You decide to get back to the dorm. The fourth, a Tuesday. Summer vacation continues. Who now? Your phone is ringing. 
Hello, this is Fuka. Do you have a minute? It's okay. Um, I was wondering if you'd like to go out someplace with me today. Absaras! What should you do? Accept the offer. Great! Then I'll be waiting outside the dorm. Fuka seems excited. Daytime! Port Island Station Movie Theater. You're having a good time hanging out with Fuka. That was a great movie. But I'm surprised at how advanced CG has become. They can do almost anything with it nowadays. I wonder sometimes. Isn't it possible that our technology has already surpassed human imagination? Fuka seems to be enjoying her day off. Oh, that reminds me. My home economics teacher said something to me. Fuka looks confused. Yamagishi-san, your cooking surpasses my imagination. And there is nothing else I can teach you. That's why I was moved from the cooking group to the cleaning group. I wonder what she meant. Um. Um. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with her. Because the truth is, she causes problems, so. Might regret it, but. Oh, is that so? I wonder if I should take the cooking days off then. No, 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 no! Fuka looks dejected. Your friendship seems to be stuck in a rut. Damn it! I was trying to be honest. I was hoping she'd go like. Yeah, I am. Um, I appreciate your honesty. Something like that, but no, she went that way. Ah, well. Worth a try. Worth a try. Troy. Worth a toy. You recall that you have something you can give as a present. I was trying to repair this friendship. Handmade sweets. With the sugar cookie. Oh, this is... Is this what you made in the cooking club? I can have this. All the dots. Mmm, it's delicious. I hope I can make something this good someday. Thanks. I'll keep trying my best, too. Fuka seems to really like your present. That's better. It's getting dark out. You decide to go back to the dorm. Evening. Sup, dude? Dude! The day after tomorrow is the big day, huh? Let's kick some ass. Right, so we'll go back over to the mall. Have a look at Game Bunny. Right, what we got then? Horror House, of course. You watched a scary video in this morning closed booth. You were alone inside, but it, you know, it somehow felt like there was someone else with you. But we're used to that now. Our courage has greatly increased. It's getting late. Decide to go back to the dorm. The fifth. A Wednesday. Summer vacation continues. Your phone is ringing. Hello, it's me, Rio. Are you busy right now? It's okay. Do you want to go somewhere today? Hello, Madama. Uh, what should you do? Accept the offer. Great! I'll see you later. Rio seems excited. Daytime. Go to die strip mall. Wild duck bagger. I come here a lot after practice, but it feels different coming here on a day when there's no school. Rio seems to be having fun. That reminds me, everyone's been asking me lately if I wanted to take part in a group date. I've never gone on a group date before, so I don't know what to do. Rio seems somewhat troubled. What kind of things do people do on a group date? King's game. Yeah, King's game. We'll go with that. King's... You get to become a king? Well, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Rio has an astonished look on her face. Yeah. Today you learned something new about her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Presents, presents. Right, let's give her the handmade ones. Because everyone seems to like the handmade sweets, don't they? Huh? For me? Wow, this looks delicious. Is it handmade? Can I eat it? Thanks for the food. Yep, it's tasty. That's really cool that you can make sweets. Thanks. I'm looking forward to tasting some more someday. Rio seems to really like the present. It's starting to get dark out. You decide to go back to the dorm. Right, to Tartarus we go. I'm gonna go get those missing peoples. Oh, hey! Hello! Tomorrow is the day. Are you ready? Not yet. Well, you don't seem nervous. 
By the way, if you want to go to Tartarus, I'll come along. That's what we plan to do, so Fuka, let's go. Using the clock to recover won't cost us much today. That's a stroke of luck. You see, cause stroke, cause it's a clock. Yeah. Go to Tartarus tonight. Okay, I'll tell the others. We'll be waiting at Tartarus around midnight. See you later. Or there, one of the two. The dark hour. Right, so first off, we're gonna go into the Velvet Room. I sense someone. There seems to be someone inside Tartarus between floors 68 and 73. No, they seem to be present on other floors as well. It would be best if, for you to search the tower for them, and find them as soon as you can. How may I help you? Yeah, 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 we don't need to know the rest. Right, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna make a save right now, obviously. And then I'm going to go off and find the floor they're on. Make a cut to that, and then like come back here, etc. So they're safe, etc., etc. And then we'll cut to me finding the next person because there's two of them, and do the same, and then we'll end the part. That's the plan. So I'll make a quick cut now to the floor that the person is on. And there we go. Then she was on floor 69. Uh, uh, is that one of the ones who went missing? We need to treat them as soon as possible. Please come back to the entrance immediately. Return to the entrance with the person who was reported missing. Yes. It's a good thing you were able to find the missing person. They're resting in a safe place now. You can go on and keep exploring if you want. All right, let's go speak to Elizabeth. I sent someone. There seems to be someone inside Tartarus between floors 80 and 85. It would be best for you to search the tower for them and find them as soon as you can. Alright, so 1885 is what we want now. Alright, so we'll make a cut to where they are now. There we go then. It was the 83rd floor. Uh, is that one of the ones who went missing? We need to treat them as soon as possible. Please come back to the entrance immediately. Return to the entrance with the person who was reported missing. Yes. It's a good thing you were able to find the missing person. They're resting in a safe place now. You can go on and keep exploring if you want. No, no, because we've reached the barrier already, so I'm going to make a save now. And in the next part, we'll go and do the full moon boss. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.